Good morning and welcome to Morning Meditation. We're on Psalm 73, and uh, in Psalm 73, we see a classic problem uh, we all deal with from time to time, and that is life isn't fair. And a lot of times if we focus on events and people and circumstances, as Asaph did, uh, listen to Psalm 73.1, Truly God is good to Israel even to such as is her clean heart. But as for me, my feet were almost gone, my steps had well nigh slipped, for I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there is no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not uh, in trouble as other man, neither are they plagued like other man. And so when Asaph focused on circumstances, and that would be easy to do in the day and time we live in, uh, focus on uh, all the <clears throat> evil politicians and focus on uh, all the things that are going on around us. We could even get envious at the uh, people that are getting rich and seeming like they're prospering. But I love the verse in the middle of Psalm 73. It said, Until I went to the house of the Lord, then I understood that God put them in a slippery place. Hey folks, realize one thing this morning if you don't realize anything else. The only heaven the unsaved people are going to know is down here on earth. And the only troubles you and I are going to know is down here on earth. When we get to heaven, we're going to be uh, with the Lord eternally. And boy, that sometimes is hard to deal with when it seems like evil people are getting away with things they should not uh, get away with. But I just want to leave you with a few thoughts uh, number one, we see a classic problem, and, and we all at times, uh, boy, if I just had it easier, if I had this car, if I had this bank account, if I had this house, and on the list can go. Uh, and for some people, that can be a close call. Uh, boy, you just get focused on that. I had a pastor friend early uh, in the ministry that focused on the prosperity of uh, churches with rock and roll bands and and uh, all kinds of bells and whistles and it wasn't long till he took Baptist off his church name and it wasn't long till he joined that crowd and then it wasn't long till he was divorced and uh, leading a rock band in another church and now he's out of church completely. What happened? He got focused on the wrong thing. God doesn't promise us uh, all large churches. He doesn't all promise us we're going to be the next Apple or AT&T or uh, Microsoft and uh, businesses come and businesses go and uh, God's business is the greatest business. It's eternal business and we have to stay focused on our call and then we see a confusing perplexity uh, and boy I feel for uh, all of us and there's times I sit there and say, Lord, what's the plan? And, and it doesn't seem like he answers us, but, but there comes a place where we all have to come to a correct understanding. And that's realize God's in control. I know I emphasize that a lot in these devotions, but I need that, you need that. We all need it. God's in control. His principles do not change. The Bible is the same, just as the Lord is the same, yesterday, today, and forever. Consequently, the principles do not change. People keep trying to say, well, you know, methods can change. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, there's a biblical method for doing things. There's an unbiblical method. And too often we get caught up, as Asaph did here in Psalm 73, wanting to appear prosperous, wanting to appear like of uh, the world, wanting the acceptance of the world. But last of all, I see this. Asaph had a contrite heart. And there's times all of us, including myself, when I hear preaching, boy, I have to humble myself and say, Lord, I'm sorry. I was looking at that the wrong way. I perceived that the wrong method. Lord, I looked at that. Uh, that wasn't pleasing to you uh, in what what I said or how I acted. Lord, I'm sorry, and boy, I'm just going to trust you. And of course, uh, Proverbs 3, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not to thine own understanding. So let's make sure as a Christian, uh, as a godly person, as Asaph did here, he got his eyes off the wicked, stopped envying uh, the things of this world, got his eyes on the Lord, 
And boy, in the end, his heart was right. God bless you and have a wonderful day.